So this is the trailer for The Batman. A DC fandom teaser. Not the situation you want to be in. You do not want to be caught in this spot with just duct tape all over your face. Very uncomfortable way to wake up. From your secret friend. Who? Having a clue. Let's play a game, just me and you. Having a clue, let's play a game, just me and you. So this would lead to the Riddler, I would think. This sounds like a riddle to me. So maybe this is lining up the Riddler. Just me and you. Any of this mean anything to you? There he is, dude. Robert Pattinson as Batman. That suit looks clunky AF. That suit looks a little much, huh? You're becoming quite a celebrity. Why is he writing to you? I guess that's Catwoman. Sleeking around. If you are justice, please do not lie. What is the price for your blind eye? The hell are you supposed to be? Hey, man, just relax, all right? Damn, just relax, Robbie. Oh, Bob Pattinson, man, damn. Oh, Bob Pattinson didn't have to do the last, I don't know, 30 punches. I'm vengeance. Oh, dude, that's how the Batman car looked in uh, Batman uh, Forever or whatever with Val Kilmer and... Uh, Robin, or Val Kilmer, Val Kilmer and Christopher O'Donnell and all that. Dude, I had this exact car replica when I was growing up. Like the toy had the sweet blue lights. Whoa! This guy's crazy. You're a part of this too. You'll see. I've always liked the uh, the black around the Batman's eyes. I think that I think that uh, the nice little callback. God, Robert Pattinson's one good-looking fellow. Look at those cheeks. Look at that jaw. Yeah, how do you get a jaw like that? The question marks again make me think the Riddler is uh, the villain. I, that looks good. I, I like. I think Batman is one of the darkest heroes, like superheroes or whatever you want to say. So I think a very gritty, very noir, a lot of rain. I think it rained in every single scene. A lot of rain, a lot of dark colors like that. I think suit Batman very well. You know, Gotham being kind of this. City of Dread, that Batman's just trying to hold together with you know by by strings. I think I think sit pretty well, but uh, this looks good. Superhero movies IMO are carried exclusively by the actors. Very rarely does a superhero movie survive just on storyline. If you think about the best superhero movies, you know it's like the best acting performances. You know Heath Ledger and Tom Hardy and you know Iron Man, obviously like the characters of 
are the key. I and mean, you can see that with Spider-Man. You know, Tom Holland, his portrayal of Spider-Man is carrying that entire franchise. Robert Downey Jr.'s portrayal of Iron Man carried that entire franchise. You know, the actor has to be perfect for the role. And we saw that, fa- we've seen that fail a lot with Batman. But maybe Robert Pattinson is the right person. If Robert Pattinson is the right person, then this could be huge. DC needs Batman. DC will never, ever be Marvel if Batman can't be big. Batman has to be what Iron Man was for DC to exist. So I'm, I'm rooting for him. I, th- I love Batman when I was growing up. Huge Batman guy. Watched a lot of the old school Adam West Batman. Um, like I said, I loved the Val Kilmer Batman. Loved those movies. And I think uh, I think this looks good. This looks like a Batman movie. So hopefully, hopefully Bobby Pattinson does a good job. We're rooting for you here, pal. This actually looks really good. For me, it's tough to leave Bale and Nolan behind, but I think they're doing the best they could. The Nolan trilogy is in my top three easily. Man, I tell you what, this is going to be controversial yet brave, but I think Christian Bale was carried by like the greatest villains ever. Heath Ledger and Tom Hardy just owning those movies made it really easy for Christian Bale to, to fit in there. Not to shit on Christian Bale, but man, I mean, it's easy whenever... It's easy... You, you talk about knocking it out of the park with casting is the Heath Ledger and Tom Hardy uh, casting. 